Coming to you live, virtually, from the Santa Fe Community Convention Center, it's the 2021 Virtual Mayor's Give Back Ball, with your hosts, Cervantes Buddy Royball and Mayor Ellen Weber. Hello, Santa Fe. Welcome to the Virtual Mayor's Give Back Ball, honoring the volunteers in our community who actually make our city run. In past years, of course, I've loved our real events with dancing and hugs and fun, Lots of gratitude, but this year for obvious reasons we're having to do it virtually with lots of gratitude and fun. No handshakes except virtual and a little bit of dancing virtual at the end. Uh, I am delighted that you're going to join us in this celebration recognizing our volunteers here in Santa Fe and I welcome my good friend Cervantes Buddy Roybal, chair of the Mayor's Give Back Ball to join me. Buddy, tell us about the Mayor's Ball. Well, thank you, Mayor. You know what? The Mayor's Ball goes back over 20 years. Believe it or not, um, me and Irene started over 20 years ago with, and our first recipient was the Santa Fe Boys and Girls Club with Mayor Delgado. I was the chair of that, and I was on the board at that time. So here we are 20-some years later doing another one. And um, last year, or the year before, I'm sorry, in 2019, we were able to do the first Mayor's Cape Quebec Ball. When, when I met with you, Mayor, we decided that one recipient was not enough, two recipients was enough, so we decided on doing 25 nonprofits and honoring 250 volunteers. Now, that is what we call a ball. So in 2019, we had a wonderful time. We invited 250 people, 25 nonprofits, and we had a party for 700 people with a great dance group by the Pink Flamingos, wonderful food by Hotel Santa Fe. It was a party for volunteers. Well, Mayor, let's kick this off by introducing a few of our nonprofit organizations that we're honoring. So the organizations that we're honoring on this mall is Adaptive Sports Program of New Mexico, Girls Inc. of Santa Fe, Rail Yard Park Conservancy, Arts Mart, and Gerard's House. In support of our volunteers, we provide thousands of adaptive sports lessons annually. Our activities include everything from adaptive skiing and snowboarding to rock climbing, water sports, archery, sailing, and much more. You know, to me, it's, uh, I look forward to it every year. It's um, incredible to be able to ski with students. As a skier, I know what a thrill skiing is. And so to, to be able to help other people have that sort of feeling of independence and a little bit of danger and a little bit of risk and accomplishing, you know, literally going to the top of the mountain, you know, it really is kind of hard to describe and to see their joy when, when the students can express it. And in some cases, the students can't, uh, but to see it from their caregivers or their parents or, or their significant others is just uh, unbelievable. So being that the adaptive sports people or the volunteers are there to help me make whichever uh, excursion I'm into, whether it be skiing and helping me transfer out of my wheelchair, is without the volunteers, there is no way possible that I could ever do this by myself. We wouldn't be the organization we are today without the support of our volunteers, and we truly thank each and every one of them for all that they do for the Adaptive Sports Program. I appreciate the different perspective I gain by listening to our girls and to other volunteers in terms of their life experiences, their challenges, their needs. Volunteers assist our organization in a lot of ways. They uh, help us out programmatically by working directly with the girls and supporting staff. Um, and they also help us out um, administratively by helping out with things like mailings, but also with tabling events, uh, our large scale fundraising events. They serve on committees and you know they're also board members. So they help us out organization wide. I work specifically in program, and so I get to see all of the connections that volunteers get to make with our girls. Um, we do our best to be able to meet every single girl where they are, and we try to have smaller groups. However, we can't have one facilitator be able to meet all of the needs of all of those girls all at once. And so having a volunteer 
really helps us be able to provide a very supportive holistic environment for our girls to be able to participate in our programs. So without our volunteers, you know, our programs probably wouldn't be as strong as they are now. I've been a volunteer gardener there for, I don't know, five or six years and um, I have a lot of other hats right now, but that's probably the thing that I come back to is the one that I love the most. Volunteers are the backbone of the Rail Yard Park Conservancy. Um, there is no way that we could accomplish all the things that we accomplish without volunteers. Um, volunteers serve on our board of directors. We have a very active board of directors and they're all volunteers. The Rail Yard Park couldn't exist um, without a, a group of volunteers. It's such a complicated um, environment if you compare it with you know, our, our other parks. The Rail Yard Art Committee on which I'm a volunteer is just a wonderful group of artists and curators and educators. Um, and people who work in parks and run the uh, conservancy. We have gardeners and young volunteers, adult volunteers. Um, we have community gardeners. We have the yard master gardeners. Um, we have people that help with our educational programming, especially during the summertime. Um, we're a small organization, so we couldn't do it without our volunteers. And I'm infinitely grateful to all of them. It's really satisfac uh, satisfying volunteering with Art Smart. I was able to um, just give back to my community and see the work that the students were doing day to day. They have a wonderful art teacher who is nurturing their creativity and technique. So going in there and working with the students, what our job was, was challenging them with new um, um, ideas and concepts, as well as working in a new medium. And it was so satisfying to see the students' thought process, creative process, and willingness to share that with us. The volunteers also work with us directly and work with students directly in the annual Children's Ceramic Plate Project. This is a project that has been going on in Santa Fe for 15 years and um, those volunteers work alongside children transferring designs, glazing plates, and, um, and then those plates are subsequently auctioned off and um, Santa Fe Public Schools benefits from all of that work. We also have the Honorary Artist Program or the Artist of the Year Program where we pair um, a volunteer established artist with a high school classroom. Um, to inspire students and also connect them to the thriving arts economy in Santa Fe. I'm Lizette Marquez and I'm attending to the moms groups and Jared House with Roxana. The satisfaction I received from volunteering at Gerard's house it is really um, kind of a, spans a broad spectrum of, of things. Gerard's House wouldn't exist without volunteers. When we opened in 1997, it was a 100% volunteer-led organization. Well, the Gerard House groups have been giving, give us more like emotional stability and the last up of my mother to my daughter than me, Roxana and Kimberly, um, it's been helping us with the process. In 2019, we had more than 90 active volunteers donate over 2,000 hours to Gerard's house. Knowing that uh, I'm able to, you know, with the other facilitators, create a, a safe space for kids to uh, uh, be with other children who've experienced the same kind of loss, the loss of the loss of a loved one, um, and create that safe space. Uh, it is very satisfying, it's very fulfilling. Gerard's House volunteers are some of the most kind, generous, compassionate people in Santa Fe. They not only believe in our mission, but they personally make sure that no one in our community has to grieve alone.
those are some remarkable volunteers. Those are the people we're honoring tonight. But while we're honoring and thanking our volunteers, I'd like to thank Cervantes Roybal, known to all of us as Buddy, and his beautiful bride, Irene, who are chairing this event. Buddy and Irene have known for years and years and years how to give to Santa Fe and how to give back to Santa Fe. They are some of the most remarkable volunteers in our community. They are honoring the people tonight who are volunteers, but they are also remarkable volunteers themselves. Thank you, Mayor. It's an honor for me and Irene to serve you in this community, but we couldn't do it without our volunteer committee, so let me introduce them. It's Joa Beta. Thank you, volunteers, for everything you do for our community. Zella K. Cox. Thank you, volunteers. Harold Dixon. Mary Fridas. Hi, thank you, volunteers. Christine Bustos. Thank you, volunteers, for all you do. Janie Potts. Thanks, volunteers. Robin Smith. Santa Fe volunteers rock. Deborah Sparks. Desiree Turner. Thank you so much to all of our volunteers being honored. As Gandhi said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service to others. And Leah Vincent. Hi, everyone. Congratulations. We'd also like to give great thanks to the Santa Fe Community Foundation for acting as our fiscal agent for this event. Now, let's hear from more of our giving volunteers and the organizations that they serve. Right here, the next list of winners among our volunteer organizations. The winners are St. John the Baptist Catholic Church Lunch Kitchen, Math Amigos, Santa Fe Garden Club, and Adelante through the Santa Fe Public Schools. We serve food to our homeless and our hungry. Um, I do the cooking mainly on the day that I volunteer. Um, I have been working here for the last three years and I just make sure that we have food for our, uh, to feed our needy people and make sure that we're doing everything, even now with uh, COVID, doing everything safe and using everything that we need to do to make this job work. I'm here to volunteer worker with them. I help them do whatever has to be done. I help them out and just do whatever has to be done. You know, we see our homeless and our needy on street corners. And I know I always feel like I want to help them, but we can't. We can't help them all. And um, I have satisfaction in knowing that anyone who comes to our kitchen for that day is not going to go hungry. They have a minimum of one meal, and if they want as many servings as they want, or if they want to pack lunch for the evening, the greatest satisfaction is knowing that we are making a difference, a real difference in somebody's life every day that we are there. In Math Amigos, we are all volunteers. We are educators, teachers, and school leaders especially uh, the team of Dr. Lomax in curriculum and instruction at Santa Fe Public Schools. Because I was a former teacher of uh, nearly 60 years and I prepared teachers and worked with in-service teachers, working with teachers now is a dream come true. Math Amigos is a team of about 10 to 12 volunteers. We're dedicated to helping teachers inspire kids to love math. We were formed in 2017, and we're very grateful for funding from the Santa Fe Community Foundation and the Children and Youth Commission of the City of Santa Fe. I'm a 30-year veteran teacher, and leaving teaching was never easy to do for me. I loved the kids. I loved my career. And so um, one year after I retired, I started working with Math Amigos. So now I'm working with teachers and with students, getting them excited about learning math. So it's, it's been a great opportunity.
The Courtyard Garden is a sanctuary for visitors from all over the world, and it really is a gem downtown area. People come in and see the flowers and the pots, and the Garden Club comes in every Monday from May to late October to care for the garden, and it's uh, it's spectacular. They've um, designed plants that go with the murals, and it really is a gem. Our club's mission, as well as that of the Garden Club of America, is to stimulate the love of gardening, to protect the quality of the environment, and in the fields of conservation, civic improvement, and education. Santa Fe Garden Club has had a long-standing commitment to the Courtyard Garden of the New Mexico Museum of Art. Every work session that we have in the garden really isn't a work session at all because we have such fun and as a bonus, we get to learn a lot about gardening with perennials and roses and shrubs and things like that. And I notice that as I uh, point out the many lovely works of art around the courtyard to the visitors and tourists who come through the museum, I'm always amused to notice that while they appreciate the artwork, their eyes are usually more drawn to the plants and the flowers and the pots and the garden. And really, when you think about it, it's no wonder because it is such a lovely spot, much beloved by everybody in Santa Fe. We're only a team of 12 people at uh, Adelante, and so we, we definitely strive to provide the best possible services for our students and families. And so volunteers help us out by putting the icing on the cake, so to speak, delivering meals to families without transportation or assisting in the garden at Salazar Elementary. I'll also add that volunteers can help make an organization feel like community. It's tough enough to be a young person learning to be an adult without also being hungry. So I am part of the group that delivers food to families once a week. Um, it's, it's hard to concentrate on math and history and literature when your stomach's growling. So food um, support I think is critical to young people as they learn. They assist me with all my school needs, uh, more than that, but how can I explain this? Uh, I'm a single grandmother with six grandchildren. Uh, my oldest being 22. So when I had the children sent to me, I, I was the first time I've ever been in Santa Fe. I was completely lost, so they helped me through the immunizations, through the school enrollments, through the programs, the tutoring, should, uh, clothing. It's kind of like being married and having a husband that supports you, and that's how I consider Adelante, a husband that supports me. You know, to look at those videos, to watch those stories, buddy, is to really have it brought home how lucky we are to have volunteers like that in our community. Uh, they give so much to so many people in so many different ways, and then you see it in front of you uh, in human stories. It's not an abstraction. It's not just something you talk about. You see it, you feel it, and it, it gets you in the heart. That's Santa Fe. Santa Fe gets you in the heart. You're right, Mayor, and just watching that video of Adelante just fills your heart with what volunteers can do, what an organization can do for those people that really need us in this community. It's wonderful that there's so many people out there that can help others. And Mayor, um, you know who else supports our, this wonderful community? It's the sponsors. Without the sponsors, we wouldn't be able to do this wonderful virtual ball or even the balls that we've done in the past. So I'd like to go ahead and honor some of our sponsors. Uh, the first one would be the platinum sponsor, PNM. Uh, let, let me interrupt you right there for a second, buddy. Uh, yes, thank you, PNM. Uh, I'd like to thank our leading 
platinum sponsor, Coronado Paint and Decorating. You may have heard of them, buddy. Uh, you and Irene have given so much to the community over the years in terms of your contributions of time, energy, resources, volunteers in so many organizations, and your gift to the Mayor's Give Back Ball encourages our volunteers to continue to give back just as you and Irene do. So thank you for all you do for our community. Thank you, Mayor. Um, me and Irene learned a long time ago that the more we gave back, the more we got back. So it, it's, it's a wonderful feeling when we can help others. And that's what volunteerism is, is helping others and, and being part of this wonderful community. We love Santa Fe and that's why we give back. And this is why this wonderful give back ball is so important to us. So, I'd like to go ahead and continue with our sponsor list. And our gold sponsors are Ancorum, St. Vincent's, Christus, St. Vincent's, Enterprise Bank and Trust, First National 1870 Bank, Hutton Broadcasting, Rosewood Inn of the Anasazi, State Employees Credit Union, and Century Bank. You know, we just talked about sponsors, but Again, what this ball is about is also these wonderful organizations, and I have the magic envelope. And, ah, I did better this time. Okay, so I'd like to go ahead and read some of the other organizations that we're honoring tonight. Santa Fe Children's Museum, Santa Fe Fiesta Council, Solace Christ Treatment Center, Southwest Association for Indian Arts, and the Sky Center of New Mexico Suicide Intervention Project. Volunteers have been the backbone of this organization. Um, they help in all sorts of different ways, from working in our offices to on the floor with children. Volunteers of the and the staff of the Children's Museum are just so uh, helpful and wonderful. Whenever we uh, go and visit the, the Children's Museum, they always make time to uh, stop and talk to little Sam and um, if he's got questions about an exhibit or if he's got questions about you know an activity um, they're always very willing to uh, spend well, really a lot of time um, just talking to him or even just stopping for five minutes to play with him and it's, it's really great. When I retired as an educator in New York and moved to Santa Fe I thought whatever will I do to give back to this world of children that have, and I found in giving back to children that it gave me a place to make new friends, to be a part of the Santa Fe community, to talk about this wonderful, wonderful museum that draws visitors from all over the world. I am the assistant Mayordomo of an organization called La Cofradía de la Conquistadora. Our organization watches over, protects, and cares for the 400-year-old statue that is housed at the cathedral. Fiesta Council and the members of the Fiesta Council serve as volunteers and help us keep our traditions alive. They help us with volunteering in our processions, our novena masses, our summer visitations, and most of all, just on a day-to-day -day basis, whenever we need help, they're always willing to be there and assist. We are a group of a total of 150 volunteers. Um, we are responsible with coordinating and facilitating the annual Fiestas de Santa Fe. This is uh, one of our longest running celebrations in the United States, where we celebrate faith and unity. Um, our goal is to ensure that fiestas are here for future generations. And we also uh, assist the needs of the community through community service projects in any way we are called to. My personal satisfaction is knowing that I contributed to the preservation of our Hispanic traditions and culture, keeping our faith as was promised by our ancestors and our dedication to honoring our blessed mother, La Conquistadora, educating our youth to the importance of keeping our traditions alive. For almost five decades, 
volunteers have been providing essential hotline crisis response to survivors of sexual violence in our community. And volunteers are the reason Solace exists. In 1973, a team of three women gave their time to create a hotline for survivors of sexual violence from the kitchen phone line of one of their homes. We have a long-standing 25-year-plus relationship with Solace, and we rely upon them for responding to the needs of people who have been sexually assaulted. Maria Jose recruited me back 16 and a half years ago. It just, you know, gives me a sense of pride and identity and allows me to connect with the community and it allows me to give value to our community and to myself too. They continue to provide essential hotline services with continuity and stability in the face of so many unknowns. Muchísimas gracias. Um, without our volunteers, um, and I would say we roughly have about 250 volunteers that we rely on when we put on the Santa Fe Indian Market. And um, that, that volunteer base helps us um, at all levels of the organization in its execution of that market. They do an amazing job by actually contacting me um, through email and asking me to be a part of uh, Swaya's um, coffee with Kim and I think that do, they also do an amazing job of making sure that you know as artists we have a platform on the swaya.org website. Here 11 years ago from New York and when I got here I thought to myself what am I going to do here? Now I had been a member of the uh, Smithsonian's National Museum of the American India and that was my incentive to you know make some contacts here in Santa Fe, which I then did. And it, it's been a, a pleasure for the last 11 years to, to work with Swaya. Well, you know, like many people here in Northern New Mexico, uh, we've all seen the challenges that suicide has brought to families uh, and youth throughout Northern New Mexico. And the Sky Center is an impressive program that I was introduced to about three years ago. We are able to serve so many young people and their families um, because of the, each year we have about 10 to 15 volunteer graduate interns who provide direct service. Um, so they are the frontline workers who are working with young people who are vulnerable for suicide. I get to work with so many different families who are seeking to cultivate some sort of change within their family structure, um, whether they're being directly or indirectly impacted by suicide or not. Um, to be able to hold these families and help guide them towards reaching those goals is already a privilege in itself. But then to be able to witness the arc of resilience and growth in these families over time is nothing less than alchemical and is deeply satisfying to me. Um, I love that Sky offers free family counseling to any family with a child in the community uh, without income barriers or having to go through insurance companies. I truly believe in Sky's mission and I'm honored to be a part of it. The arc of resilience, buddy. What a beautiful thought uh, from a very meaningful group. Uh, again, when you see those stories, when you listen to the stories and meet the people behind the stories, you're reminded that Santa Fe, without our volunteers, simply would not be volunteers. I've said it before, city government is this big in Santa Fe, our volunteer community is this big and we're so grateful to all of our volunteers who make the city what it is. You're right, Mayor. And, and again, you know, when we talk about volunteers and we talk about the city and the organizations and the, and the community at whole, I, I keep talking about the sponsors because 
this event would not be possible with these sponsors. So I have, would like to go ahead and read some more of the sponsors. And these are the silver sponsors that also contribute to us being able to do this. Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Santa Fe, Guadalupe Credit Union, Hotel Santa Fe, Inn on the Alameda, La Fonda on the Plaza, Maestas and Ward, New Mexico Bank and Trust, Presbyterian Healthcare, Santa Fe New Mexican, St. Vincent's Foundation, Thornburg Investments. You know, buddy, you're absolutely right about our sponsors. Uh, they are the people who allowed us to have this virtual give back ball, but there's even more. Thanks to our sponsors, every one of our 25 organizations will get a check for $3,000 to help them carry out their activities to make Santa Fe the place it is where we care about each other. Mayor, that's, that's wonderful that we can go ahead and do this for the volunteers and in the end, give some money to the organizations that right now are in dire need of, of help. And Mayor, I'd like to go ahead and read a few more of the organizations that we're honoring on this wonderful event that we're doing. And here it is. Okay, the magic envelope. An aid and comfort, Southwest Care Center, Santa Fe Animal Shelter and Humane Society, Senior Course Volunteer Program, City of Santa Fe, Friends of the Santa Fe Library, and one of the organizations I love with all my heart, Boys and Girls Clubs of Santa Fe del Norte. Gala has, uh, Gala and Comfort Gala has been around for 31 years. Southwest Care Center has hosted it for 25 of those years. I've been a volunteer with Aid and Comfort under the umbrella of Southwest Care Center for well over 25 years. And the reason that I chose Aid and Comfort as the place to volunteer was that I was looking for something that would feed my need and help to reduce the unmet needs in our communities for patients and individuals who are underinsured in the state of New Mexico. Unfortunately, some of my health conditions get very complicated and it makes it so that I can't function and work. And I have had to rely on them to help me with my um, utility payments every year is because one of the things I've gone through is cancer treatment twice. And when you go through that, it just pretty much debilitates you. It, it, it gives me a great feeling to know that it's there and that my, you know, that I'm going to have heat in my home and, or that I'm going to have, you know, it, 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 it's, it just gives me an enormous amount of comfort to know that I don't have to worry about that when I'm going through my treatment. I've been volunteering for about a year and a half now. Volunteers help our organization in so many different ways. I mean, everything from walking the dogs to socializing kittens to doing the laundry at times, um, they are just really vital to our organization's success. Prior to finding Buddy, we looked at two other dogs and um, they just didn't, uh, we just didn't think that they met our criteria. The volunteers help through a variety of jobs. Like at the main building, they can socialize our cats, make sure that they're ready for adoption. They walk our dogs, keep them entertained, also get them ready for adoption. And then there's other roles such as at like the vet clinics, they help out all the staff there and make sure surgery goes smoothly and stuff like that. The people there were so wonderful. They didn't make us feel guilty <laughs> about not taking. They understood and they said it's like dating, you know, you, you got to find the right match. We are incredibly grateful to the shelter, the volunteers and its hospital for all that you did for us in making Buddy's um, adoption uh, go as smoothly as it did. RSVP is a support system for volunteers. We recruit members of the community who are age 55 and over, and 
help steer them toward volunteer opportunities within Santa Fe. Richard Fox uh, has been taking me for a couple of years now. It's uh, several times a year. And he is, in a word, a godsend. I, I give the client uh, and uh, they come first. Uh, and so whatever their needs are while I, you know, after I pick them up and if I have to, I usually wait for them and sometimes I'm designated as their point of contact uh, and sometimes they have to stop and get uh, prescriptions filled or, uh, or, or run an errand or something while I have them and they, they don't have a vehicle so I, and then I get them home safely hopefully. And I always look forward to the next opportunity that comes along. Uh, again, I get a lot of a lot out of it by meeting new people, and uh, and also uh, with people I've helped before. library volunteers all share a love of books that likely started in childhood. Along with that, we share a love of libraries as special places that are open to all and that encourage learning and reading. Santa Fe is fortunate to have wonderful, welcoming public libraries. Our volunteers love interacting with the public and helping them find treasures at our bookstores and book sales. The purpose of the Friends of the Santa Fe Public Library is to provide, is to raise funds for the library. Volunteers are an integral part of raising these funds. Some of the funds raised are through book sales. It takes over a hundred volunteers each year to assist the Friends with the book sales, which raises more than $70,000 for the library. They do a million things for us. We couldn't uh, do what we do without them. They provide funding for library programming for all ages. The Friends help us write and receive grants for library programs and services uh, so that we're able to broaden our reach to the public. Santa Fe Public Library is just so grateful for the continued support and partnership with the Friends. We couldn't do what we do without them. Volunteers assist uh, club staff in meeting children's basic needs, you know, providing children with positive and nurturing play experiences and building trust and rapport with the children that we have here. My, my affiliation with the Boys and Girls Club is that uh, I've been involved in the after school program that uh, provided by Connie's Kitchen and serving food and, and uh, snacks after school. When I started with Boys and Girls Club, I fell in love with all those children. I look forward to seeing them, you know, two or three times a week when I was there. The club showed me edification and it's taught me many life lessons. The most important life lessons that I've learned from the club was E plus R equals O. And what that is, is event plus reaction equals your outcome. You don't control your outcomes, you earn them. And being able to have a greater understanding of that really helped me throughout my life. We have a, a mentoring program that uh, we sign up volunteers uh, to kind of match up with our, our youth. And so I think our youth benefit from volunteers in our art program. They get uh, guitar lessons, homework help. Um, we also bring in our alumni volunteers and this is middle school and high school uh, club members that come back to us to volunteer. That last video put a great big smile on my face, buddy. I'm sure it did yours too. It's not just the volunteers, it's the kids. Seeing them light up like that, having so much energy, so much optimism, uh, that's the heart and soul of Santa Fe right there. Yeah, Mayor, and again, this was, 2020 was a very hard year for everybody, especially these organizations. So this is a gift to them that they haven't been forgotten. The organization haven't been forgotten, the volunteers haven't been forgotten, and of course the people they serve have not been forgotten. So I want to thank you for hosting this wonderful event and the, our committee and all the sponsors for their wonderful contribution to this event. Thank you. So with that, 
I'm uh, honored now to introduce Santa Fe Poet Laureate Elizabeth Jacobson. Uh, Elizabeth is a nationally known, recognized poet, one of many of the great poets who live here in Santa Fe, and she has written a very special poem in honor of you, our Santa Fe volunteers. Elizabeth? Hi, I'm Elizabeth Jacobson. I'm Santa Fe's Poet Laureate. I was reading through the list of honorees for tonight's event and thinking about all the wonderful work each one of you does in Santa Fe. Jamie Potts sent a few videos, which I watched. Afterwards, I went to sit outside and there was a squirrel on the apple tree by my door eating last fall's dried apples um, that were still on the tree. I thought that's how all of you are. You give asking nothing in return. I wrote this poem in honor of all the great community work each one of you does. Thank you all. The nature of giving. Cherries ripening on the tree will ask nothing for their perfect gift of sweetness. The apples, the plums, the pears, the pinion seeds, all give without wanting anything in return from those who enjoy their succulents. Mountains give us forests of discovery. Cottonwoods cool our homes. Blue gamma strengthens the soil. The Stellar's Jay's expressive crest is for all to regard. Gallardia and sunflowers vivify even the brightest months. It is the nature of giving to offer solace, a mug of hot coffee in gloveless hands, a sandwich for now, and one tucked in a pocket for later, a poem to wander away with. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. That is a beautiful poem in honor of our volunteers, and thank you for all you do as our city's poet laureate. And working with you uh, over the last year has been a great opportunity and blessing for me, and our city is so fortunate to have you as our poet laureate. Uh, thank you for our volunteers and for the whole city. And now uh, I'd like to recognize the next group of volunteers. I have the envelope here, and the next group of winners is Special Olympics New Mexico Area 2, Alzheimer's Association, the Northern New Mexico Group, Rio Grande Chapter of the Sierra Club, and the Friendship Club. We provide year-round sports and training competition in a variety of Olympic type sports for individuals with intellectual disabilities, uh, giving them continuing opportunities to develop physical fitness, uh, demonstrate courage, experience joy, participate in sharing of skills, friendships with their families and other Special Olympic athletes. And our volunteers, they are the backbone of Special Olympics. So without them, this could not happen. Sports volunteers have great responsibilities. Uh, they play a great role uh, in working with our athletes, their teachers, their chaperones, their caregivers, their friends, their counselors, and unified partners and coaches. The volunteers, because they support me, they're supportive. And they always take their time to help me when I need it and never rush me. They are my friends and all the volunteers are wonderful and cool to be around. The satisfaction I receive as a Special Olympics volunteer is knowing that the time I give helps make a, di helps make a difference uh, in an athlete's um, life and their desire to compete to the best of their ability. The Alzheimer's Association is a volunteer-driven organization. Our volunteers are really passionate people. Uh, they're inspired to make a difference as we continue to fight our fight to end Alzheimer's disease. The Alzheimer's Association is really the major contributor when it comes to research and, and search for a cure and treatment options. Uh, my wife Kathy and I have a company called Corazon Concierge. Uh, we met Beth Hamilton at a um, 
uh, I believe it was a Santa Fe Healthcare Network meeting. And then we took a course, which uh, really was very informative, educational, uh, and uh, gave us a, a great perspective on dementia and Alzheimer's and, uh, you know, our businesses to offer assistance to seniors. And it really uh, gave us a great perspective. We envision a world without Alzheimer's and all dementias. And our volunteers assist us with that vision as community educators, support group facilitators, advocates at the state and national level, uh, volunteering to become part of a research trial, or serving on one of our event committees, such as the annual Walk to End Alzheimer's um, in Santa Fe. We're so thankful for each and every one of our volunteers because without them, none of this work would be possible. I often go door to door to ask for support on an environmental stance that the Sierra Club has taken. And over many, many years and thousands of doors later, not once has anyone said, "Who's this? what's the Sierra Club? More often the reaction I get is, well, if the Sierra Club favors it, then I do too. So the uh, Sierra Club started a program called Water Sentinels many years ago that was nationwide for some time. We work very closely with the Sierra Club and Sierra Club volunteers. Um, we work in collaboration, uh, the or other organization is called Amigos Bravos, and uh, we work with volunteers from both organizations to make the Water Sentinels group uh, function, so uh, to organize it. So in total we sample about 20 to 25 sites on the rivers here in Taos County, and then we submit those results um, the, that the volunteers collected to our environment department to affect policy. Many of our volunteers help pass legislation at the Roundhouse like this Wildlife Corridors Act last year. The key to all of our volunteer work is collaboration. We work with our community, other organizations, and our elected officials. We welcome all who want to join us. Well, I get out of myself, uh, which is great, and I get to work with other people. Um, so, it, it kind of brings a different meaning to my life to be a part of a community. Um, uh, I think there's something to um, working with others that's important to me and um, being of service that's really important to me in my life. And I notice that the rest of my life is happier when I'm being of service to other people. So volunteers are an important part of our organization. Without them, we couldn't open the doors and fulfill our mission to provide and maintain a multi-use community center that promotes activities and events focusing on mental, spiritual, and physical recovery. We provide an inviting, supportive environment where people in recovery can heal and help one another. The Friendship Club allows everybody in this city a place to go and have someone to talk to. Um, it's continuous. It's staffed with volunteers all the time. Everybody's welcome. And you know, the Friendship Club reminds us that you having a tough day, things aren't really going your way. The best way to get out of that is to do something for someone else. Leave it to Councillor Sig Lindell to sum up the whole purpose of volunteerism and why it makes us all feel so good. When you're having not such a good day, do something for somebody else. It'll make your day better and their day better. That's the moral of the story of this whole event. Volunteer, it'll make Santa Fe better, it'll make you feel better, and it makes our whole city a better place to live. Well, buddy, you did it again. You promised a great event. You promised recognition for the people in our community who volunteer and give back so much. We're giving them something back. We couldn't have done it without you and Irene. Thank you for all you did. What can I say other than I want to thank all our volunteers. I want to talk, thank all our organizations and I want to thank our sponsors. What can we say other than what a great city we live in and volunteers is a backbone of this community. Thank you, Mayor. Oh, thank you, buddy. Hey, what do you say? Let's dance. Let's do it. Let's dance. Ha! Ha! 
Everybody get up and express yourself. Yay! Get up! Ah, oh, this hit that ice cold. Michelle Fox with that white gold. This one for them hood girls, them good girls. Straight masterpieces. Styling, wilding, living it up in the city. Got Chuck song and we sing the wrong. I gotta kiss myself, I'm so pretty. Too hot, hot dance. Call the police and the firemen. Too hot, hot dance. Make a dragon want to retire, man. Too hot, hot dance. Say my name, you know who I am. Too hot, hot dance. And I'm bad about that money. Let me hear you say, girls hit you, hallelujah. Ooh. Girls hit you, hallelujah. Ooh. Girls hit you, hallelujah. Ooh. Cause Uptown Funk gon' give it to you. Get on now. Uptown Funk's gon' give it to you. Uptown Funk gon' give it to you. Saturday night and we in the spot. Don't believe me, just watch. Yeah. Come on. Celebrate, celebrate, dance to the music. 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 Celebrate, celebrate, dance to the